Yeah. Okay, follow along and give you a real quick recipe here. Hello, Chef Pierre, back with another video for you. I've got this butternut squash and I'm rocking it over here. I've got the Braun Heavy Duty Mandolin. Yeah, really, really like this. This baby's made in France. It's fully adjustable. It's got a set of blades underneath. You can go from uh, you can go from julienne to French fry cut. This particular one also has a uh, uh, crinkle cutter blade built in. You can adjust it and move it, and it, it, it speeds up and saves time for people that are doing quantities. And it's perfect for coleslaw, cabbage, things like that, or a nice tender butternut squash. So I'm going to show you how to do some slices on here, just like this. And one of the things that I like is that it's nice and consistent, but it's fast. So I go right down to the very bottom. I'm being careful, of course, not too much pressure. Right there, the last piece, we're good to go. It's all through. Look at those slices. I better zoom in on there for you so you can see just what I got. So yeah, if you want to compare these slices I just did to the ones I did with the knife, well, uh, the mandolin wins. Uh, more consistent cuts. It's going to be a little more even cooking and possibly faster cooking because they're nice and thin but that's a beautiful cut right there. Can't argue. I'll put two of them next to each other for you show you just how consistent they are. They're basically identical. Yeah. Okay, I got one more piece to do here real quick using the stainless steel cut proof glove and the one from the sponsor is made in the USA. That's the good stuff. This glove is several years old. It's still going. There's braided stainless steel fibers in here. Doesn't you can't get cut. I mean, it gives you protection. Extra protection. That's what I'm looking for. Extra protection. Yep, just like that. All done. Beautiful cuts. Okay, the recipe is very simple. Got a heavy duty stainless steel bowl. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of Vietnamese cinnamon, just like that, a little bit for flavor, quarter teaspoon of fresh ground Hawaiian pink salt. Yeah, full flavor. I can smell it over here. Wow. Pepper. Oh, less than an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little bit to give it a little zing. Okay, this gets mixed together just like this. Oh, yeah, looking good. Now, the squash goes in here. And we're going to toss it all together. Just like this. You're learning. That's the recipe right there. I'm going to roast this in a uh, 400 degree oven until it's nice and brown, kind of dried, and it's going to be a snack. All right, I'll be back. Oh, I'm cooking on this rock maple cutting board or countertop surface. This particular one is 24 by 18 by two and a quarter. Love it. Uh, the sponsor has these babies in stock. They ship fast. They do countertops. They do islands. Uh, they've even done installations. So this is the good stuff right here. When I'm all done, I'm using a bench scraper. And I'm going with the grain. And I'm cleaning and removing any food particles. And you're wondering if I'm doing anything, right? There you go. I just removed uh, some food and some wood particles right there. This is clean. This is good to go for the next preparation. That's chef's tip of the day. I'll be back. Ah, the finished 
butternut squash looking really good I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, whole nutmeg here give it a little bit more complex flavor just a little bit thanks for watching please like share subscribe support your sponsor score the knives and the cutting boards get cooking and have a great day oh yeah it's gonna be good subscribe right there okay for those of you wondering the glove is braided stainless steel and you can score this at your sponsor as well gives you an extra level of protection I'm going to be cutting these in consistent uh, eighth inch slices like this yeah just like that knife cuts beautifully I highly recommend you check it out I love the design and the style and the shape yeah by the way this is made in Germany this is a Japanese super steel you can't go wrong the handle is a solid bar of stainless steel there's a weld here lifetime warranty the blue designates the turbo turbo is fast right Coleslaw. For the full recipe, subscribe. Got my steamed asparagus on there. It's looking really good. The last thing I'm going to add to finish this drunken porterhouse recipe is some of the drunken juice right over the top like this. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right down there. Get cooking. Try the recipe. Have a beautiful day. On a side note, some of my videos are touching on knife safety, so I suggest, especially for the kids, you get them cooking, get the Chef's stainless steel glove. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America. Made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out. Get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. video I will show you how to maintain cutting boards let me see the first one is my my standard right here and that is 
this awesome Boost Mystery Oil. Love it. Second one is the Board Cream. Okay, Board Cream, good stuff. So, uh, you notice they're different. The Board Cream's a little bit thicker. You actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package. And the oil is a little thinner. Your sponsor's got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight and it'll be totally dry by morning. So if you watch the videos, you already know I do a ton of cooking and a lot of reviews. This cutting board is 10 years plus old. I use a bench scraper. I clean it off like this when I'm done. And I oil it, I maintain it. Very important you use the right products here. I got the Boost Mystery Oil and I got the Boost Board Cream. Both of these are NSF certified, both of these are edible, they're food safe, they're not gonna hurt you. I like them. Doesn't matter if you've got an old cutting board like this or a new cutting board. Here's a brand new slab right here. This comes in all different dimensions, 24 by 48, 24 by 60, 25 by 39 and a quarter, uh, 121 inches by 30, 36 by 96, as big as you want to go. Contact your sponsor. They give you uh, free shipping. I believe there's no tax most areas. It's the good stuff. And this gets treated the same way. Mystery oil every month. Board cream if you prefer. It's a little bit thicker. With that, I'm going to let you go. All of these items are in stock at your sponsor. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Get cooking and have a great day. Keep cooking. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to click that little like button right down there so that we know you like the video and you want to see more. Share it with your friends. And if you need custom butcher block, counters, tabletops, even this end grain, it's oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well. Yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. American black walnut is a beautiful species of wood, makes a great cutting board, countertop, uh, bar top, island top, <clears throat> you name it. I really like this wood. It's nice and hard, very beautiful, a chocolatey brown color. Next. Uh, maple. This one here is, uh, this is rock maple covered in plastic but that doesn't matter you can see the color it's very very nice these are NSF certified uh, beautiful light blonde color and here we have bamboo this one's imported uh, you can see you get what you pay for uh, I don't use these 